Hi, in this video, we are going to learn to write ionic equations from chemical equations. Let's look at this chemical equation. The ones in the brackets are state symbols. The state symbol AQ means the substance is in aqueous state. This means the substance is dissolved in water to form solution. L means liquid state. If you have G, it means gaseous state. S means solid state. Only the substances in aqueous state can be split them into ions. Hence, for HCl, we split it into hydrogen ion and chloride ion. For NaOH, into sodium ion and hydroxide ion. For NaCl, into sodium ion and chloride ion. For H2O, L states. Don't separate it. You can see that some ions remain the same before and after the reaction. The sodium ion and chloride ion. These are called spectator ions and can be cancelled out. So, we cancel out sodium ion and chloride ion on both sides. We get the next ionic equation. Let's look at another chemical equation. The equation must be balanced before you start with the ionic equation. For sodium sulfate, you separate it into ions since it is in the AQ state. Notice that there is a 2 in the formula. This means there are 2 sodium ions and 1 sulfate ion. For lead 2 nitrates, split it into lead 2 ion and 2 nitrates ion. Lead 2 sulfate is in solid state. Leave it as it is. There's a 2 in front of sodium nitrate. This means we separate it into 2 sodium ions and 2 nitrate ions. We cancel out the ions that are same on both sides. And we get the next ionic equation.